Welcome to the Hannibal TV. I'm Zach McGibbon. This is CPW International in Windsor, Quebec. We've got an interesting matchup here. It is Sexy Eddie and Shado versus the American Mercenaries. Alongside me is Marco Rossi. Marco, it's going to be an interesting matchup here, isn't it? It really is going to be an interesting matchup. The American Mercenaries obviously going to want to put. They're going to want to put a death grip on those belts. But I'll tell you, they uh, they have a couple of good adversaries with Chato and Sexy Eddie. You know, you got your pizzazz, you got your razzle dazzle. But the American mercenaries, they're tough, they're nasty, and like I said, they're going to do anything they can to hold on to those belts. And right out of the gate into the corner is Chato. And maybe underestimating the power here of the American mercenaries. And like I said before, there's going to be a bit of a mismatch. And as you can see, the manager there, Phoenix, for the American Mercenaries. Boy, she's looking fine, huh? Oh, she may be heading over to Great North Wrestling in 2017, so there's something to keep an eye out for. I certainly will. I'm going to keep both eyes out. Unbelievable. What's unbelievable? I know she is gorgeous. My goodness. A lot better than some of the Barracudas I've seen you walking around town. Well, okay. I'll tell you that. Because uh, you got a five on one arm and a five on the other. doesn't make ten, Gibby. I'm sorry, but... Uh, Anyways, back to oh, the match. Oh, oh, we got the big man down. Jesus, with the quick arm drag as well. And now throwing him into the ropes to Mercenary One as he jumps over, going in, diving oh. back elbow drop from Chato. Chato. My God, this guy's got some 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 fire in him. He's a little Spitfire. Problem is though, he goes too high risk. Yeah, he might that that, that flame might might uh, burn out. Oh, and there's another arm drag there as he works on the arm. Not a bad strategy if you're able to get the big man down, wear him down a little bit, but he's got to be careful. See, that's the thing. If, if he's going to try and wrestle American, the American Mercenaries kind of match, he might falter, despite what we see here. American Mercenaries, they're very slow. They're very methodical. Oh, see what I mean? They'll pick you apart. They'll knock you down. And when they hit, they make it count, as you just saw there. Well, it looks like Mercenary 1's going to go to Mercenary 2, and there's the tag. That's okay. Take the fresh man in. And so Mercenary 2, as you mentioned, they are methodical. They're going to take their time and make sure that every ounce of pain is felt in Chato, and you can see he's already feeling the effects on that left arm. Is this going to be a slightly more matched affair, though? Because you see, obviously, Chato, the smaller of the... Uh of the two between him and Sexy Eddie, and you look at the American Mercenaries, one of them is obviously obviously has a, a size differential. The one in the ring right now is a slightly smaller, perhaps more agile. And uh oh, well we'll see what Sexy Eddie is able to provide here. Uh, I almost want to call him a bit of a wild card, Gibby. I don't know. Is that, is that safe to say about Sexy Eddie? You never know what what's going to happen with this guy. I certainly feel that's a fair assumption. Oh, good. We're Expe agreeing on something. Run for the hills, jeez. I, I know. Ooh. We've seen, we've heard everything here so far. <laughs> I've seen it all now. Yeah. <sighs> Sexy Eddie, of course, a veteran on the independent circuit. He's been involved with Great North Wrestling as well. You could check out some of those matches there. Great match as well between Nathan Banner. Absolutely, but you know what? Oh, I was going to say that the American mercenaries have their way with Sexy Eddie. He's not going to be looking so sexy after all. Well, those piston fire punches from Sexy Eddie in the corner. Oh, there's the eye poke. Mm. Blatant. Blatant as well. Looks like the gun might have jammed there. Piston fire. Oh, but oh. There's, a, there's a diving splash there. Jeez. Taking down Mercenary 2. And now Sexy Eddie continuing to go to work. Spinning him around. Looking to throw some shots more, but... Mercenary 2. Oh! In and well, you don't want to exchange punches with the mercenaries. I mean, like I said earlier, they're strong. And look at him working on that back. Just All continuing right. to pelt him. Sexy Eddie won't have sexy back. He'll be bringing Aki back pretty soon. Oh, Lord. Oh. Off in the corner. And just those shoulder tackles into the corner. Oh, yeah. There you go. Wear him down. Uh-oh. I think he was signaling the crowd. Maybe he was going for one more. Or he was going to... He has a little plan. 
These mercenaries, they're 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 not dumb. That's why they are the champions. They are for for a good reason. Well, try oh, well, oh, no. the corner. Here's a roll-up pin going in for the cover here at the two. And oh, okay. Mercenary two able to kick out at two. He miscalculated that slightly, but you know what? Yeah. Don't count him out just yet. And now that arm ringer taking him down. And just continuing to work on the arm. That left arm. A mercenary two of the American mercenaries. Uh oh, here comes the Spitfire. And now, tagging into Chato. Going in. Oh! oh! Nice little kick to the arm. It dislocated his elbow. Good tag team work here between Sexy Eddie and Chato. Going in for the double back elbow. Some good continuity, I gotta admit. These guys are strange, but. Look at this! Uh oh, wait a minute. Oh, the gyrations! Oh! Would somebody please oh. think of the oh of the children? Good a double grief, elbow Charlie drop, Brown. and now going into the covers, Chato hooking the leg here at two, and Mercenary Two is able to kick out. Gyrating and showboating, what the heck? Jeez, you got to be kidding me! In the in the match with Pretty Boy Preston Perry, you were you were complimenting them for the gyrations. I well, well I, I I like Pretty Boy Preston Perry. There's, there's a big difference. He's all right. He's 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 one of, he's one of my favorites. These guys here. Yeah. Unbelievable. Off of the corner, Chato Scott. Mercenary 2. Instead, Mercenary 2 able to reverse it as he clotheslines him in the corner. And now getting him back. Just continuing to work. There's the tag back to Mercenary 1. Here we go. And let's see what they're going to work with here. Oh! Like a freight train just taking down Chato. Oh, yeah. He just got hit with a Mack truck. Just boom! See what I mean? There's a difference in styles and you see it. Razzle dazzle, high flying. Not always gonna work when you hit a Mack truck or two. And look at Mercenary One just arguing with the referee as he's trying to continue to go to work on Shado. They're mean, huh? I love it. They're mean, they're nasty, they're no nonsense. They just go in, they get their work done. I don't know why they choose to wear masks though. I'm sure they're handsome fellas. Especially masks that resemble that of Mr. Wrestling. Well, maybe it's a tribute, perhaps. That's that's all right. No no harm in that. Nonetheless, in the corner, the mercenaries just continuing to wrench on the neck of Chato. And look at that, just continuing to work on it as the ref is distracted. There you go. Utilize the distraction. <laughs> oh, choking him out. See what I mean? The little spitfire, the the fire, the, the I should say the flames just got extinguished. Oh, oh, he's That's coming back. Maybe not. Shado taking down Mercenary One. Uh oh. And I'm not too sure there. It looks like he got tripped up trying to get over to Sexy Eddie. Smart move. Oh my goodness, so close to make that tag, but close only counts in horseshoes. Oh, oh! Michinoku driver. Speaking of a grenade that went off, my god, that Michinoku driver was explosive. Elbow drop for Mercenary 2, leg drop coming down. Oh, that's a lot of beef coming down across the neck there. And now Mercenary 1 tags right back in. Oh yeah, smart, good quick tags, getting, getting that continuity going. Uh oh. Look at this. Oh, Splat. big splash in the corner. Oh, yeah. And now Mercenary One throwing him in and a diving shoulder block. This is where they need to go for the cover right now. Don't waste any time. Trying to get him out of the ropes. Mm. Looking to continue to work on the gut. More punishment. That lower liquid. abdomen of Chato. Ah, see, the champ should have went for the cover there. Maybe, that, maybe, maybe them and Phoenix have talked a little strategy. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, there you Going go. Going right to Sexy Eddie. Rattle him a little bit on the apron. Cannot believe it. And now Mercenary 2 going to work on Chato. Chato's in trouble here. Big trouble. And now throwing him back in the ring. Oh, is he hurting or what? He must be feeling that. Sexy Eddie can't do much. Oh, there you go. Here comes the cover. Come on, ref. Oh, Excuse me, he's just trying to wear him down. Yes, he, he wrapped him around the neck. Oh, I, I, I guess so. You're the color commentator, Marco. That's right, I'm here to keep you accountable. No, well, I'm keeping you accountable right now. Ah, no, no, no. I just, I, I thought he was going for a cover. He had the man down. Do you blame me? 
I do blame you. You blame me. You should know the difference Get between a pinfall and a submission. Get back. Holy smokes, I'll tell ya. You, you're always on jumping all over me. Really? Yeah, you're you're always you're always jeez, oh, please just give me give me a bit of a break here. You, it's bad enough you didn't give me your Kit Kat bar. Now if, if I gave you a break, you wouldn't have a job here at Great North Wrestling. I sure would. But come on, you're talking to me here. Unbelievable. I am, I know, that's why I'm here. I'm the man. Anyway. Oh, look at the tag going to Mercenary 2, and Chato still feeling the effects from some good tag team work from the American Mercenaries. There you go. See, now we're on the same page. Good tag team work from the American Mercenaries. That's right. Now you're starting to see things the way I am. And now going for the tag, back to Mercenary 1. And now throwing him into the ropes. Let's see what kind of maneuver they go here. Trying to go for a uh -oh. double clothesline. Coming back is Chato and a double drop kick. Wow, Chato obviously running on fumes here or something. I mean, honestly, he needs to get as much as he can, as much reserve. Dig deep down and tag Sexy Eddie. I mean, I hope he doesn't, but he, he's going to have to. And look at Chato just trying to crawl and... Inch uh -oh. his way over to get the tag. But they need to grab like, him by the foot there. Oh, there the you go. Mercenary 2 got him. Oh, insecurity kick. Oh. And look at him rolling over. There's the tag to Sexy Eddie. Oh, no. Here comes the wild card. And look at that. Clothesline taking out Mercenary 1. Clothesline to Mercenary 2. And now back to Mercenary 1 with the back elbow. Well, can you ever tell he's fresh as a daisy, huh? Double Holy axe handle smokes. there. And oh. kick going. To Mercenary 1. Sexy Eddie is cleaning house. Drunk. Oh. Going to Mercenary 2. The American Mercenaries just getting destroyed here. Oh, look at this. Uh-oh, this is not going to be good. Double oh. headbutt. Double noggin knocker. Oh, no. American Mercenaries are reeling. Oh. Slapping him down. Oh. And oh. Into the groin. Yikes. He just landed, uh, not, not in a part of town that he wanted to be. Let's put it that way. He made a wrong turn. And Mercenary 1 making his way to the outside. Phoenix is there to accompany him. They better get Chato out of there. What, what is the ref doing? He's allowing him to There's the double oh. suplex. Get Chato out of there. Sexy Eddie's a legal man. I don't remember him making a tag back in. Or, excuse me, a tag back out. Well, Chato continuing to do some good tag team work here. Look at the rest not even counting to five. What the heck is going on here? As he sets him up here, as he goes for the kick, let's see what Sexy Eddie does here. Where's Springboard he on the top ropes, foot legged moot oh! Going in for the cover here. One, two, oh, oh. and. Mercenary One's able to save the matchup Woo! for the American Mercenaries. I gotta say, that was an oh. impressive split leg and moot salt, but uh, wow. Knockout punch coming from Mercenary One. Some slight desperation from the champs there. Huh? Oh! Another shot to Sexy Eddie. Ooh. I think Mike Tyson would have been proud of that knockout punch. Here we go. Wait, what? Why is the bell being rung? Hold on now. I think it's what's in his hand. What's in his hand? He was, I mean, it was a close fist, but I don't think the rest saw that. I think that's what he's calling the close fist. What? As we know, it's supposed to be an open fist in wrestling. Ah, it looked open enough. Come on now. It looked open it enough. It looked open enough. That's not how it works, Marco. Sure it is. What do you mean, sure it is? You can't that's how I used to win all my matches. I mean, then I woke you up for my... never wrestled a match. Sure I did. Tell me the matches you wrestled. In my dreams, I wrestled okay, a lot of matches. that doesn't count. It does count. It does not count. It does. I even got a belt made and everything. And in your dreams, you were a good commentator, weren't you? I... Whoa. 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 I'm better than you, my friend. Oh, Lord. Anyways, what is the... What, Look oh, at the mercenaries. You know what? Yeah. They still got the belts. So, that's what counts. Oh, good Lord. title change on the hands of a potential disqualification. Good Lord. Oh, there you go. Your winners and still champs, as far as I'm concerned. Unbelievable. Mm, I'll tell you.